Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We are still in version 0.24 because I have some unfinished business to attend to. Namely, I want to complete that parachute contract before we update. I don't think the update affects too much. Because this update affects the reaction wheels, it is possible that it would be a little bit more difficult to complete in the next version, and this thing's already hard enough to complete as it is. Alright, so the reason that the reaction wheels are valuable is because when you're going through the atmosphere, it can be hard to keep control, and I need to be going through the thick part of the atmosphere very fast, and I certainly cannot afford to lose control at any point. I also need to be able to turn around the module very quickly uh, to fire the parachute and hopefully not have the thing rip apart. So, let's get into building this rocket. Let's see, this is our fourth rocket. Well, this contract seems impossible to complete, so how about we call this the Impossible Mission Doer? Seems like a good name. Hopefully it lives up to it. You know what, this... We couldn't do it with the LV-909. I don't think one rocket's gonna be enough for this. Okay, this is more like it. I also found out, as I was editing the previous video, I realized where I went wrong with uh, getting the contract for these LV T-45 rockets. What you have to do is you have to activate the part through staging, and it does say that directly in the wording of the contract, which is why we got it for the LV-909, but we did not get it for these. So I'm going to need to stage these when we have all the parameters of the contract met. Okay, now we did unlock the new boosters, so we could use those instead of these little guys. Also, I noticed that these launch stability enhancers cost only 200 apiece, which means that my design with these radial decouplers and whatnot, not only was it much less effective, it was also much less efficient, costing more than three times the amount of these. And what mission bearing the Strutco flag would be complete? without plenty of struts. Now I have a general rule whenever I'm making a somewhat complicated rocket that as soon as I think I've added enough struts I always need to look and find one more spot where I can add struts. And that has come in very handy in this situation because I forgot to put the struts here. So that's a good tip if you constantly are having your rockets fall apart and you're like, I added struts, why is it falling apart? Just look on your rocket and try to find one more place where you need struts. And don't stop looking until you've found a way to add at least one more. It will save you a lot of grief. Okay, here we have our rockets, the impossible mission doer. I also added two more parachutes here. These are emergency chutes in case this breaks off, because there is a fair chance that at the speed I'm going to be going, this thing will just rip straight off. So we have these for the safety of our pilot. And only one Kerbal is awesome enough to pull off a mission this difficult. Jebediah Kerman. And I do not want to kill Jebediah Kerman. For added security, I am putting these parachutes on an action group. I usually do my parachutes on action group 3, but I would recommend for every rocket that you do that's even moderately complicated that you put your parachutes on action group. A lot of situations where I've been unable to activate the parachutes through staging for some reason, and it's good to have an action group so that way you don't end up, well, crashing. And speaking of staging, let's do that. Okay, I believe everything is correct here. We have another budget breaker, and our rewards for this contract are not very good. Actually, let's go take a look at that. Yeah, we get 258 for completion. So, this is not going to make us our money back. This, this will be good. Testing this is worth a lot. I'm going to look to see if there's any contracts we can do that will allow us to get more money back from this. Alright, I believe this is the solid fuel booster we're going to be using. Oh wait, is it? No, this is. This is in something else. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't just randomly grab that. This is the solid fuel booster we're going to be using. Oh! Oh, we have to use it in flight. Okay, I have an idea that's going to make this mission more dangerous, but I want the money. 
I say that I'm so much about the safety of the Kerbals, but yet I'm willing to risk their lives for money. Okay, I'm going to grab this, and this also gives me an idea for how to more effectively set up our rocket. So by adding this contract and completing this contract, we're going to get most of our money back. Yeah, see this? This is a reasonable parachute contract. I have to be going between these altitudes, which are not almost at the surface, and this one I have to be going a little bit fast, but we can't take this contract. Slowing ourselves down that much would prevent us from completing the other one. So the Separatron contract gave me another idea for how to even more effectively get this away from this after uh, when we're ready to deploy the parachute, and that is add Separatrons to this module, like so. So now Separatrons will fire at the same time the parachute and this fire, which should wrench us away from this. As for the other Separatron contract, I'm just going to put a couple of these on here and then just fire them at the correct altitudes. Thankfully, these are not very expensive at only 50 apiece, but they will get us back excellent rewards for just simply firing them at these altitudes. Okay, so here's how I'm going to test these while flying. Pro tip, you can hold down shift and click on any part to raise or lower your rocket as a whole. On the downside, it makes your this go into zoom mode, but I'm just going to raise this up. And then I'll stage it so that way these drop me, and then I fire the rockets. And then that will be flying, right? Oh, I have to be going between these altitudes and these speeds. Always read the contract. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if these can... I don't think they can get me up this high if I don't use all of them. Oh well, we'll get that contract at some point. Another impossible mission. But we have Jebediah Kerman ready to go do the impossible and test this stupid parachute contract that I should never have gotten in the first place. Okay, Jebediah, are you ready to do the impossible? Yeah, I think he's ready to go. Okay, this is good, because I want to be going these speeds when I get to these heights anyway, so this one is not going to be a problem. I just need to make sure I stage correctly so that I don't fire these too early or too late. So just remember, I'll just keep this one open, because the parachute one, that's not going to come till later. All right, SAS on. Oh, I just tried to use Z to throttle up. In a bit. I'll update in a bit. All right, Jebediah Kerman. Let's go make history. Wonderful, our SAS modules are holding us stable. Just as planned. The little ones I don't think could be doing this, although it's probably mostly the winglets for now. Once I stage this off, these three winglets are going to have their work cut out, keeping us stable. I'm actually building up speed a little bit too fast. too fast. Okay, let's start our gravity turn. Wonderful. Alright, SAS, you hold us steady. No, come back. Come back. Your job is to keep us stable. Electricity. Okay, we're about ready to fire that stage. Alright, go! Got that contract. Let's look at this. Oh, this is not good. We need to be going up more. Oh, wait! I don't even need to do a gravity turn for this. I don't want to. Because I just want to, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to go up really high and then come back down. No, come back. SAS, you are not doing your job of holding us stable. Oh no, we didn't get high enough.
we're not on a suborbital trajectory, are we? No, because we have to be out in space. Um, I need to make a decision. Jebediah, make a decision. Okay, screw that contract. This is the contract we are after. Alright, our maneuver, we want something like this. And this. Yeah, that would be ideal. I don't think I can do that, though. All right, we have music. Jebediah Kerman, I chose you because you are the best at what you do. I called this the impossible mission doer. This mission might actually be impossible, but we will do it. As soon as we start losing velocity, I'm going to fire these engines full throttle. I want to let gravity pull us down as much as possible first. Jebediah, you seem rather confident. I am not as confident as you. Or maybe you're just... Did you suffer head trauma in some earlier rocket mission and that's why you're just always smiling? We are still gaining speed. We switched over to surface mode. Still gaining speed. Okay, let's go a little bit more prograde. Still gaining speed. Let's fire. Come on! Come on! Go faster! Go faster! No! Oh boy. Even Jebediah Kerman could not succeed in this mission. Eight science. Three thousand recovered. But Jebediah made it. Our reputation did go up a bit because we got the Separatron contract done. Okay, this may seem like it's an impossible mission, but I will find a way to do it. I will not be denied. 